You'd have to have Deion Sanders out there to catch him. And he's going all the way. Touchdown. The Honey Badger strikes again. Their story takes place on a football field, and yet it's about so much more. It's definitely deeper than football. You know, we, we kind of push each other and make each other better, and that's what it's all about. They first met on a recruiting trip at LSU. Patrick Peterson, the star cornerback. Tyron Matthew, the star recruit. Introductions were made. Expectations were set. I just told him that I wanted to be just as good as him. And, you know, he looked back at me and said, no, I want you to be better than me. So that's how it all kind of started. What was it about him that was so special to you? I mean, he was genuine. You know, I think everything he said was actually the truth. And he embraced me, and I embraced him, which I didn't see him embrace, you know, many other guys on that recruiting trip. And I don't embrace many people either. But Matthew quickly embraced Peterson, the person the player, even the number, choosing to wear seven after Peterson was drafted by the Cardinals in 2011. Patrick Peterson wins it for the Cardinals. And the ball is knocked loose. Picked up ten. You want me to tell you who it was? No, we know already. Ryan Matthew. After his sophomore season, where he was named a Heisman Trophy finalist, Matthew's choices changed everything on the field and off. LSU has dismissed Tyran Matthew from its football program for violating school and team rules. Tyran Matthew opened the door when police arrived. The officer said they smell marijuana in the residence. I'm thinking about how do I explain this to Patrick? You know what I mean? So because I took on responsibility of wearing number seven, so I had a responsibility to Patrick also. He's always talked about, you know, being the right type of person, you know, and um, for me to do those things and, you know, disappoint them and, you know, disappoint myself, it was embarrassing. I didn't want to kick him to the curb because of um, a mistake that he made in college, knowing that he, he clearly didn't mean it. I know how it can be in, um, in, uh, in Baton Rouge being in that spotlight, so I just wanted to encourage him and, and uplift him and, and tell him that it's going to be better days. But Peterson didn't just offer support. He offered his world. Moving Matthew to Florida to live with Peterson's parents and to train with his father, a renowned speed coach. When he first came to my house, you know, wanted to try to get his life back on track. So my job was like a father figure. And he told me, he's like, man, I want to be real fast in this combine. So, because he came running a four, five, six, you know, and you see what he ended up running in the combine, four, four, three. The Petersons gave him a home stability, and a second chance. After declaring for the NFL draft in November 2012, Matthew continued to train with Peterson Sr., junior joining Team Tyron in January, preparing his mentee for the combine, all the while selling his team about Matthew the player and the person. I wanted to put a bug in the, in the GM's ear and uh, Coach Aaron's ear that this guy, he, he's learned from his mistakes. He, he can definitely help us in the long run. The Arizona Cardinals select Tyron Matthew. He was sorry for letting me down. He told me he won't let me down again. You know, at the end of the day, you want to do the right things for yourself, but you don't want to do the right things for Patrick, too. Our friendship was, it was much deeper than that. And, you know, I knew he was always the guy I could go to and lean on. 